Welcome to the Worldwide Ministry of William Marion Brent. Today is August the 26th, 2023. Here is a letter from Brother Joseph Branham at the Branham Tabernacle in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Now here is Brother Joseph Branham. Dear Prophet of God's People, Listen, I just got something to tell you. It's just so good. It's just burning right in my heart. I hope you haven't forgotten it. See, let me say this. In the presence of Him, by His grace, He also let me see my people not long ago in white robes. From the East Coast to the West, all across the country, we are gathering together. We are many hours apart in time, but we are together as God's prophet people. We are one unit. When God's prophet was here on earth, the greatest and the only place the bride wanted to be was to be united together on the telephone hookup waiting to hear that voice say, Good morning, friends. How they would have loved to be sitting in that audience on the corner of 8th and Penn Street. They would have gladly spent the night in the parking lot just to get a seat or to be able to stand and lean against the walls for hours. They would have sold all they had, lost their job, if it was possible just to be in that one service. Their whole life was hanging on to every word that prophet spoke. They didn't want to miss a thing. Although they knew that one day they would be able to get the tape, they wanted to be united with the bride at the very moment God spoke through human lips. This was their life. This is what they waited for each week. Nothing meant anything to them but to hear the next message. How excited they were as they knew now they had the opportunity to hear for themselves all at the same time, word by word, what God's seventh angel prophet said. God had provided a way. He wanted his bride to be united around his voice. He wanted his bride to hear his voice all at the same time. He knew his voice spoken through his angel messenger was the only voice that would unite his bride. His great plan was taking place. Pastors from around the United States made sure their churches were on the hookup. They had caught the vision that there was nothing more important than to hear that voice. That is what they had taught their congregations. God has sent a prophet with, Thus saith the Lord. He has been vindicated by the pillar of fire. This is the voice of God to you. This is Malachi 4 and Revelation 10.7. He is the man God called to lead his bride. This is the prophet I've told you all about. Now we must all listen to him. Like John of old, I must decrease and he will increase. God's plan is still being fulfilled. The bride is still uniting around his voice. But now we are uniting from around the world. Each Sunday, a portion of his bride is waiting with great anticipation to hear every word, all at the same time. Perhaps we have heard the message a hundred times before, but this time feels like the first time. 
we know we're going to get a greater revelation than ever before. There is no other place we want to be. Nothing is more important to us. This is that. This is God's plan for us. This voice is calling, uniting, and perfecting His bride. And we are that bride. I invite you to join us this Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we unite and hear the voice of God as He reveals to us the sixth seal, 63-0323. Brother Joseph Brandon. Scriptures to read before hearing the message. Exodus chapter 10, verse 21 through 23. Isaiah chapter 13, verses 6 through 11. Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Matthew chapter 24, verses 1 through 30. Matthew chapter 27, verse 45. St. John chapter 10, verse 27. Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 11, verses 3 through 6. Until next time, God bless you and Shalom.